Crunky Master Paul here, and today we are celebrating, I shit you not, 100 subscribers. Yes, I, I have my first 100 subscribers. Can you believe that? I certainly can't. I had no clue you people were signing up for this crap. But I'm so happy you guys are, are tagging along and having fun with me. And to celebrate, I'm going to make two of my favorite cocktails. These are kind of the, the staples, the baseline, if you will, of the monkey bar. And they're, they're great. They're my own recipes, kind of, sort of. And I'm so happy to share them with you. Come have a drink with me and celebrate 100 subscribers. First cocktail of the night is going to be the classic old fashioned. I love these things. I'm a huge bourbon fan, and it's a really, really nice way to start your evening. What you need for an old fashioned? Your bourbon of choice. Tonight I'm going with Paddleford Creek. It's an obscure bourbon I just discovered about six months ago. Fantastic. I love it. It's super smooth. I actually like it better than Makers in uh, Woodford, but whatever your bourbon of choice is. I suggest one that's more smooth than smoky. What you will also need is some ice and simple syrup. Now, I make my own simple syrup. It's basically one cup of sugar with one cup of water. You put it in a pan and you boil it till it's clear. Uh, an aficionado will say that I'm doing this wrong. You have to use granulated sugar, but fuck them, it's my bar. The other thing you will need, Angostura bitters. And you will also need, of course, a highball glass. Of course, the classic monkey bar highball glass. Yes, I'm that much of a bar geek. I have my own logo and all my glassware. Let's put this bitch together. Okay, so. I got my ice. First things first, put the ice in the glass. Freeze the monkey. Okay. Next thing, the delicious bourbon. Mwah, lovely. It's a bourbon. The simple syrup. Give that a little bit of a swirl or swirling. Swirling will happen later. Then a couple of good solid shots of bitters. I tend to go way overboard on the bitters because I like them. You know, actually, I've never. Are these actually supposed to be bitter? Or just, they're called bitter? That's bitter. That's some bitter shit going on right there. That's, that's really bitter. Whew. Ah, damn, that's bitter. That's like Hillary bitter. And last but not least, we have one more ingredient to add. Now, this is really important. Um, you can blow it off if you want to and it's still a good drink, but the twist of lemon. Mmm, and you know, fresh lemon, you just peel off a, a bit of the, uh, the uh, rind without having the pith, because you'll be pithed off. You snap it, bend it, smoosh it a little bit, just drop it right in. Nice lemony oil and it makes it really, really smooth. And that's it, that's all there is to a classic Old fashioned. I prefer drinking mine out of a straw. I seem a little bit sissy, not quite as manly as you like to think I am, but it actually acts as kind of a governor. It slows me down so I don't just knock these back as if they're shots. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Cheers! Yellow snow! It's not just a wintertime snack you feed to your unsuspecting friends. It's a great cocktail as well. Let's make one. What you need is a really good martini shaker. This is my 
favorite, favorite. This is an OXO, of all things. It makes a really great insulated martini shaker. You need a martini shaker. You need the booze of choice, which is Stoli Vanilla. Now, there are a lot of vanilla vodkas out there, and I've tried them all. This is the one that works. It's just, it's super smooth, and apparently Stoli has a special process that only they use to infuse the flavor into their vodka. I don't give a fuck how they do it. It's really the best vanilla flavored vodka out there. Use it, except no compromises. So, to make your own sweet and sour, very, very easy. Two parts lemon juice, one part key lime juice. And the key lime is important. Use the key lime. So we've got any kind of bottle lemon juice is fine. But this is what makes it special. It's the key lime juice. And for the love of God, do not use the clear bottle of lime juice that's named after a flower. Don't ever, ever use that stuff. It's like it's been squeezed from badger glands. It's nasty, nasty lime. Picture if you took a lime and rubbed it all over Tom Jones during a concert and then licked it off. That's pretty much what that shit tastes like. Don't use it. Anyway, to that you add some simple syrup. This is just, just a bottle I made earlier. Now the ratio is say, two parts lemon, one part lime. Now, I start with one part simple syrup and kind of add it to taste. Some people like it sweeter, some people like it more tart. So that's a good place to start. Those are the ingredients. Awesome, simple, except we're gonna wind up slurping it off the counter here. Au contraire, lovely martini glasses. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is rim them. Yeah, you didn't expect to be rimmed tonight, did you? I oh, know. If you get enough of these into your date, and the rimming will occur. Oh yeah, you like that. Burns like hell though. Okay, two lemon rim jobs later. We have our vessels. Now, let's put these things together, shall we? Or cocktail glass. No, the gla cocktail glass is there. Lovely sugared rims, add a little sweet to it. Then we have my favorite cocktail shaker. In which we are going to add our Stolknaya infused vanilla. How many of these are going to make? I'm making two, obviously, because there are two glasses there. And notice I, I tend to measure everything when I'm making cocktails because it, it's amazing just getting the measurements off a little bit kind of fucks everything up. I wish I got to remember how many shots I put in there. But I don't. I think that's four. We'll assume it's four. It's gonna be four. It's four, right? Yeah, it is. So what I do is I usually match if I pre-made my sweet and sour, what the booze ratio, it's 50-50, booze to sweet and sour. Getting full. Four. Because I put four shots in there. Right? Four. There's four shots in there. Cap it off. Shake vigorously. Now, one of my rules that I tell my friends when I'm making this is you have to shake it 101 times. It has to be 101. Why? Because I'm a pain in the ass. So, here we go. I'm counting in my head. Right. Ready? By the way, always over the shoulder. Always over the shoulder. This is cool. This is, uh, this is Montgomery Cliff. Right here. This is a Chicken Hooters. Montgomery Cliff, Chicken Hooters. They both have their positive points, but we'll keep going here.
There you go, 101. Did you count? <laughs> And there we have the yellow snow. The original foofy drink, as I like to call it. Wonderful, wonderful for, you know, summer days or just you don't feel like drinking anything heavy. And guys, chicks love these things, okay? Really. Mmm, very good. Mmm, mm, tasty, tasty <laughs> yellow snow. Here's my old fashioned. Here's to you two. Cheers. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Cheers. And here's to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for hanging with me. I appreciate Yay. your support. And let's all get drunk together. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. Nice rim job, Paul. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> the beauty is, I get to drink my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> ah! It's just down the stair shot. It's like up the skirt shot, but with danger. You know, many things that I shake come out creamy. Christy wants me to be funnier. And You're not. I wasn't funny enough the first time. <laughs> I've got to be funnier. <laughs> oh, we gotta snort! We gotta snort! Come on! Look out! He's got a lemon! Lemons! Combustible lemons! It'll burn your house down! Heck yeah! Yeah! Do you think they realize that I haven't put any videos up whatsoever? I don't think so. I don't think so either. No, I think I we think totally so. pulled that off. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Good job. Yeah, thanks. High thanks. Five. High, five. High five. High five. Good job. No. No. <laughs> <laughs>